Bumblebee. I came on a couple minutes early because I saw you were here. Didn't want you to get lonesome. Uh, I'll wait a few minutes. Um, yeah, so are the boys off to school yet? <clears throat> He's still working on that. I think my grandkids are back in school already. I have to call tonight and talk to my son. And uh, see, because they're supposed to come out here again. And I haven't heard from this weekend, so maybe it'll have to be on a weekend now that the kids are back in school. I want to tell you also about, I don't know if you know, I don't even know if you have a dog. Do you have a dog, Bumblebee? But there's these uh, places that you can send. It's in the process. Okay. There's this, uh, it's called Embark. It's one of the best ones to get, to find out the DNA of your dog. This one also tells if they're prone to any uh, anything uh, bad from there. They get all this from saliva that you send in. They send you a kit. Uh, they have an unfurnished apartment to set up. Yeah. My sister and her daughter went through all that again with, first she went through it with her daughter and son and now they they're going through it with her grandkids and now they're out of school they're well the one has graduated well i guess they both graduated the one has a really good job and this the son my sister's uh grandson i forget what company he works for he's an elect i think he's an electrical engineer <clears throat> and my my sister's granddaughter works in social service. So, but anyway, neither of my kids went to college. They barely could stay in high school. We were exactly the opposite with our kids. Oh, yes, you have a beagle. Okay, I sent away, I sent for this kit, Embark, it's called, so that you can see all the things about their heritage and about what breed they are mixed with if any and you know I was really wondering about uh Penny because number one her spots are too big number two her hair is longer than any pointer I've ever had and I just didn't feel she was a an anything like a pure English pointer for sure so just out of curiosity I sent for this kit my dog water walker told me which was the best one because this one also tells you if they're prone to any bad illnesses. Uh, so I sent for the kit. I did the swab inside her mouth, sent it off. It takes about a month for them to work through this. And they keep in contact with you the whole time. So it's a really great company. Well, this last this past week, a few days ago, I got the results of everything. I got the results, the medical results, and luckily she is not really prone. Uh, the breed may be prone to hip dysplasia, but she doesn't have any signs of anything. But she's not prone to any other type of things. Um, she, her, I thought she was part English pointer anyway. Here's what she is. She is 50, almost 50%, I think more than 50%. I should have written it down. I don't think I'm pronouncing this right either. Llewellyn, Llewellyn Spaniel. No, not Spaniel. Llewellyn Setter. It's a part, it's a breed of an English setter. It's a type of a breeding that they've gone. Uh, oh, lightning bugs here. Yeah, I'm talking about my dog. <laughs> I sent for uh, her DNA results, and I got them back. She's 
at least half Llewellyn setter. It's like an English setter. So that's where she got her markings, the bigger spots. And she's smaller. The females are smaller, between 35 and 45 pounds, which she falls right at. And uh, the other, I think she's like 40 some percent German short hair pointer. Now, German short hair pointer, she looks like uh, short German short hairs are similar to English pointers. They're stockier, a little stockier. They have blockier heads, I think, and they're brown spots, but that brownish color. She doesn't have any brown on her, but uh, they, they, uh, I'm sure she was bred or her ancestors were bred to be gun dogs or hunting dogs because these are two great hunting dogs breeds. The English pointer doesn't even come into the picture until her grand, her great grandfather. <laughs> There's one English pointer. That's it. So she is like, I would say half, Half uh, Llewellyn's setter, English setter, and half, a uh, little less than half German short hair pointer. So, yeah, so that's where all her characteristics come from. And Llewellyn setters are known to be really kind and loving dogs and very attached to their, their owners. So there you go. I know several German short hair pointers because when I had the our very first pointer, Rocky, that's when my husband was alive, <clears throat> he went hunting with them and Rocky hunted with two German short hair pointers. Two of my husband's friends had German short hair. So, yeah. Anyway, a German, sh German short hairs have their tails docked. Uh, just like Weimaraners. The reason they do that is uh, just to go along with the breed specifics for the, uh, you know, the KC, the, the kennel, the showing people, whatever, you, you know, like Westminster, <laughs> the show dogs. <laughs> They have to have their tail, several breeds have to have their tails docked to be, uh, to go along with the breed specifics. Like uh, Cocker Spaniels, their tail doesn't come, isn't, their tails are normally, if you'd let them grow, they'd be long. And, you know, a lot of hair on them. And Weimaraners would be a tail like Pointers have. German short hairs would be pointer's tail. So um, I think a lot of people are getting away from docking dogs' tails because it's not for any specific reason other than, you know, for the show, the look of the dog. So I think that's kind of... I wouldn't... If I had a puppy in any of those breeds, I wouldn't dock their tail. I have to tell you a funny, hi Estella, your dog's mixed, I think she looks like a Karen Terrier, yeah, yes, you could send for this and find out exactly, it's very interesting, uh, my, <laughs> we had Cocker Spaniels when I was little, my mother loved Cocker Spaniels, and we had, one time we had, uh, we had gotten a puppy or had a puppy. I'm not sure how it happened. But anyway, we had a puppy. We had to take it to the vet when it was six weeks old or eight weeks old, however old it has to be to get their tails docked. So we, I remember sitting in the office. My father went in with the vet. Evidently, the vet didn't have a help, helper person. A vet assistant back then it was just the vet, country vet, 
So he asked my father to go in and hold the dog for him. My father fainted. <laughs> of course, he's a guy. I'll never forget that. You know, I worked in the ER for all those years, and we had, uh, I forget how many people fainted. Not many, maybe three or four all those years, but they were all men. No women, all men. Uh, yeah. And you can tell when, you can tell the ones to watch and you can tell exactly when it, it's getting close. <laughs> yeah. We sat a few men down. It was pretty funny, actually. And it wasn't anything really horrible. I don't even know why. Some men are just prone to not being able to see anything like that, any blood or anything. I don't know. Of course, I don't understand it because nothing much bothers me. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had a not a good week on eBay, but a really good week on Poshmark for me. I sold 17 things on eBay for the week and eight things, eight, yes, eight things on Poshmark. That's the best I've ever done in a week on Poshmark. I was just watching, I was just watching Becky Park. <laughs> uh, I did better than her on Poshmark. I think she only had four Poshmark sales this past week or maybe it was the week before. So, I don't know. It goes up and down just like eBay does. And I've been listing more and more on Poshmark, so I'm sure that's why I'm getting more. However, the last few days, I'll show you at the end, the graph, the last few days, I almost had two zero days. But uh, somebody kicked in at the very last minute on, I think it was Friday, whatever day it was, and bought a tie. I'll show it to you when it comes. But, um, and then yesterday, I almost had a zero day. And then I had at the very last minute, I had a sale. So I haven't really had a zero day. But I've had a couple of good days too. So, <clears throat> honey, the, honey the Hound. <laughs> That's cute. Honey the little beagle. They're so cute. Did you get her as a puppy? Or as a grown dog? Uh, um, ah, six in the chat. Yes, thank you all for being here, whether you're talking to me or not. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm just going to keep listing on Poshmark like crazy. Uh, I wish they had a different way to notify you, though. Of course, you can go on your closet and look under solds, and then you can see the solds as they come in. But uh, they just email you. If you miss an email, you if you miss an email, you miss the uh, mailing label. I'm so afraid I'm going to delete a whole bunch of things and autumn, you know, accidentally delete that. There must be a way you can get it back, but I haven't done it so far. <clears throat> okay, let me, uh, it's 10 after, let me uh, share my screen and show you what I did sell. You got her from a shelter. Good for you. Good. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> okay, dokie. Here is the first thing. This was from last... 
when was it? This was the seventh, so that's uh, last Sunday. So that's where we're starting. This is from sun last Sunday till yesterday, Saturday, Sunday to Saturday. Uh, this is a uh, international concepts fitted top in black and white and an extra small at a dot. Uh, D. This is very fitted. It was even hard to get it on my mannequin. It was sort of ribbed uh, knit net, not net knit <laughs> fabric. And uh, had the V-neck. And this sold for $11.69, which was the sale price I had on it. <clears throat> okay, the next thing is this Mon... I don't know how you pronounce that. Monto, Montu Floral scall Scallop Strap Top. Had like a cold shoulder and little straps over uh, your shoulder. In an extra large, it was this gold uh, floral pattern and it was cropped. And it sold for $15.29. Whoop, back here. And oh, that first thing, the International Concepts went to Hossington, Kansas. <coughs> This piece went to Gladwater, Texas. This little uh, crop top. Uh, I I was really surprised I sold these. This is this pair of culottes. I just got these recently. Uh, I think they were in a box. Uh, they're by Lauren, by Ralph Lauren, and they're pull on. They had a stretchy elastic top stretchy culottes in this blue they were wide leg real wide leg they sold for i don't even have the size on there well i'm surprised they sold it all uh they were they were a big size i know that let's see if we can go down here they were one x okay that certainly should have been on there they were a 1X, and they sold for $22.99, the regular price, and they went to San Francisco, California. <clears throat> this is a little pair of romper shorts uh, by Entro in this animal print. Had a tie waist, elastic tie waist, little short shorts. These sold for $16.99, regular price. And they went to Candler, Candler, North Carolina. Everybody pays shipping on everything here. Except for the, there's one thing they didn't, and I'll tell you what it is when I get there. <clears throat> and here is a, another makeup thing. Uh, this is a Maybelline Superstay Concealer. Uh, like a concealer stick, I think it was, in, in the color ivory. And it sold for $14.94. <clears throat> they paid shipping of $4.50 on there. And it went to Clear Spring, Maryland. <clears throat> this is out of that box of makeup things that I had gotten a long time ago. Here is a pair of Lee Dark Jean Camo Cargo Shorts, men's in a size 46 with the ripstop fabric. Uh, so the cargo shorts should be selling all through the fall. You know, it's hunting season when those darn hunters go out and kill things. And they like to wear camo. <laughs> Camouflage in the woods, I guess. I just went to Charleston, South Carolina. And it sold for $20.69, which was the sale price. <clears throat> Next thing, I can't remember if I got this in a box or if I picked this up because I really like this piece. I think I got this at Goodwill in Brunswick. I'm pretty sure I got this. It was by Beach by Exist. I'd never heard of the brand, but I just really like this top. It was sort of a heavy uh, hoodie, had a hood on it, and 
Where's the picture of the hood? There it is. And it would be a great thing, like, on a cold evening on the beach. That's what I picture it. You, you put your shorts on over your bathing suit, put this top on, and make a bonfire on the beach. It's perfect for that. Anyway, it sold for $15.29, and that was the sale price, and it went to Troy, North Carolina. I wonder if that's by the beach. Uh, Norton McNaughton. Uh, I've had this a while. This is a three-button jacket in sort of a suede cloth. It was There's no lining. It wasn't heavy at all. It was sort of lightweight, size 14. Uh, you could wear this like with a skirt or something, like office wear. Uh, this sold for $18.77, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. And it went to Poolsville, Maryland. By the way, while I'm doing these, I can't see the chat. So uh, I'll read it as soon as I get off of here, if anybody's saying anything. Uh, this next thing, I was sort of saving this for myself. I really like the sweater. It's my size. It fit me really well. And it goes perfectly with jeans. Okay. So I had put a, a price of $27.99 on it, but it went on sale. Somebody sent me a question about it. If, if it would fit a size 12 person. And I had to tell her, yes, that's about what I about what I wear, you know, sweaters and things. And she bought it for the sale price of $25.19. So there goes my sweater. It went to St. Louis, Missouri. <clears throat> uh, this is a this is actually a wrap top. It has, I don't know if you can. I showed here at all how it wrapped. It was a true wrap top. I should have actually showed that. That went around and uh, it was by Cabby in a medium. It's bright floral, sleeveless. Had some ruching on the sides. And this sold for $17.99, the sale price. And it went to Colbert, Washington. Way out in Washington State. <clears throat> Uh, this is actually sleepwear, but I suppose, and it's sort of like a sleep shirt. I'm not sure how long this is. Length 38, so it's it's longer than a t-shirt. But I suppose you could wear it like a t-shirt. Um, but it's a Halloween print, so this is the first Halloween thing I've sold, I think. Uh, it sold for $11.69, the sale price. It's by Simple Basic Sleepwear. And it went to Houston, Texas. <clears throat> okay, here's the tie that saved the day on the day I didn't have any sales until like almost midnight. And somebody jumped in and bought this tie. However, this tie is going out of the country, believe it or not. It's, uh, this was made in Italy. It's a Signor, Signor, Signor Selly. I guess that's it. In this geometric pattern. And uh, it's a nice looking tie. There's the uh, brand. But <clears throat> I don't know where it's going because I checked the tracking. It's still in Kentucky. Now, this person bought this when... This person bought this on the 12th, which was, well, Friday. Okay. It's still in uh, Kentucky. It hasn't been sent, so I don't know where it's going yet. I, I, I tried to find out, but I can't. Okay. The next thing is by Soma. It's a knit tunic. Um, length top or dress if you want to make a dress out of it it's a uh, size medium had 
front and back cutouts. There's the front cutout. And I think that's the back cutout. And it had thumb holes, too, on the, uh, by the wrists, on the sleeves. This sold for $15.29, uh, which was the sale price. Went to Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> the next thing is a pair of J. Crew 365s uh, wool trouser pants. And this style name was Edie, a woman's uh, size zero, dark gray. These are like career type pants. These were new with tags. Really nice looking pants. Uh, they were wool and uh, I think they were wool. I don't, yes, wool. They were all lined. Really nice pair of uh, trouser pants. They went to, they sold for $29.69, the sale price. They went to Cal Kalispell, Kalispell, Montana. <clears throat> See, no best offers. I'm liking this no best offers a lot. I, it's probably cut down on my sales. But even so, you just have to get used to it because I like it. <laughs> Here's another. Uh, it's funny how I go months and months and months without selling anything from the makeup lines. And then I have two in one week. Uh, this is by L'Oreal infallible paints these are this is eyeliner a lot of two uh in a teal color uh, this sold for a lot of two for 11.47 this is the one that was had free shipping on it so i lost uh, i paid shipping of three dollars and 39 cents on this so i didn't make very much but you don't make very much on these little things. Uh, I've sold the, one of the Patagonias I have. This is the Patagonia Men's Better Sweater, size large in this red heather color. Uh, I remember finding this one. It was um, it's a quarter, like a half zip, I guess it is, with a zipper pocket. <clears throat> And this sold for $35.09, the sale price. And this went to Frank Frankfurt, Kentucky. And my last eBay sale was yesterday that saved the day for yesterday. Or it would have been zero day. This is We the Free. Uh, I don't know what this M plus M plus Urban Outfitters means. That's what it said on the tag. Maybe it was a, uh, you know, when two, two, uh, two things combine. It's a stretch top, had long sleeves, and the detailing was on the sleeves. And had a, lot, a big scoop neck on it. Let's see if we can see the tag here. This is what, how it looked. We the free, M plus M, whatever that means. And then it said made, well, no, it didn't say there. I think someplace on the tags or inside, there's something about Urban Outfitters, but I'm not sure for sure. <clears throat> anyway, it sold for $15.29, and it went to Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. Now, let's see my Poshmark sales. <laughs> this first one was an MNG men's long sleeve button up pink shirt. This was 100% linen uh, in a medium size. And this went to Malvern, Arkansas. And it sold for $16. And my VA gave them a shipping discount of two sixty eight, so I only made ten dollars and twelve cents on this. <clears throat> the next is a Knox Rose piece, sleeveless top, size medium. This was uh, 
black with that embroidery on the shoulders. And this went to Prudenville, Michigan, and it sold for $16. And I received $12.80 out of that. That's the 20% uh, off that Poshmark takes. <clears throat> Next thing is, I've had this a while, Ann Taylor. This was a pullover, sort of a, uh, like a rayon type fabric, uh, flowy blouse in a size large. By, uh, it sold for $25, $25, and I got $20 from that because there was no shipping discount. <clears throat> And here's this uh, Southern Tide that I had just gotten because, remember, I had heard that this was a good brand from uh, Thrift of Life guy. You know, the Thrift of Life. <laughs> I love to watch him. Uh, anyway, I remembered that name when I saw this tag, so that's why I got it. And it sold for $23. It's a fishing folding type fabric. Uh, it was vented under the arms just by a couple little holes. It wasn't like, it wasn't vented a lot like the uh, PFG fishing shirts by Columbia. But it was in this red plaid and out of $23, uh, there was a shipping discount. So I only got $15.72. This went to New Iber Iberia. Louisiana, I, Iberia, I guess that is, Louisiana. <clears throat> okay, Polo, Ralph Lauren. That's why, this is why I always pick up this brand, because I do, I do pretty good with this brand. Uh, extra large, this blue check, uh, I think it had a black label here, and it was a blue and black uh, check. Extra large shirt sold for $30 and I received $24. And where'd it go? Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The next thing on Poshmark was uh, this little crop top or shrug uh, by Poetry. I'm not sure, is Poetry an anthropology brand? Maybe it is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, this sold for $16. And it had a shipping discount, so I only got $10.12 for this. But I'm happy with that. It's a size small. Three-quarter sleeves. Oh, no. I know where I got this. This is one of the pieces I bought on, on Whatnot. Yes. I bought this on Whatnot to resell. I think I got it for a dollar. And yeah. But you have to pay shipping. But I did buy two or three of pieces from that person, and the shipping goes down. <clears throat> a pair of Levi's 550 denim walking shorts. These are men's size 32 in the relaxed fit. I sold these, and I think I just put on another pair, exactly, almost exactly the same of these. Uh, these went to Northampton, Massachusetts, and they sold for $24, and I received $19.20. <clears throat> okay, the last thing is this uh, Caution to the Wind jumpsuit. This was a stretchy rib knit type uh, fabric with the self bell tie belt here. Uh, this was a really nice piece. I had sold it before. It came back because it didn't fit the person like she wanted. So she sent it back. I refunded her and put it on again and I sold it again. So this time it sold for $15. I don't remember the first time what it sold for. Uh, the first thing time I think it sold on eBay. This time it's sold on Poshmark for $15 and I think that was a best offer. 
and I received twelve dollars on Poshmark. I don't think you can stop best offers from them offering you things. But anyway, I sold it again, and uh, when I went shopping the other day, do you remember? I got a uh, I got a dress by the same brand, and the whole top. It's pink, sort of pink and white, striped like this one is. If you can see, see how this is striped. Uh, the dress I got is pink and white. And it's the same up up top here, has a belt and everything, but it's just it's a dress with a crossover top uh skirt. And I just uh I think I just took pictures of it uh to that I have to list it, or maybe I already listed it. And everything goes together now. But anyway, this was my last uh, Poshmark sale of the week. So let me show you my little graft here. See, when I started doing it the first of the month, I started doing uh, no best offers. Now it hasn't been horrible. However. I haven't had any huge spikes, but I've had two days here over a hundred dollars. So, but I had two days here of one item, one item. Today so far it's not showing, but I've sold two things so far. Uh yeah, so let's look at the graph, the graph thingy. This is the report for the week, it's the seventh through the thirteenth. This is just for eBay now. I'll tell you the numbers for Poshmark after this. This is just for eBay. Uh, total sales. This is gross sales. $436.50. That's down 6.7%. The net, net sales, $263.50. Now, somehow that's up. I'm not sure how that worked, but that's actually up from from uh, last week. I sold 17 items, but the average sale price has been much better. It's up 20 over 20 percent. My average sale price this week was twenty five dollars and sixty eight cents. So that's pretty cool. Uh, almost all my well, they were all fixed price. It doesn't say here what's promoted. I didn't print that out. But I think down here someplace is selling costs. Um, eBay fees, $61.23. Shipping labels cost $90.17. That's how they get the uh, selling costs. So those are the numbers. Uh, for the week. So let me get back here and tell you about Poshmark. I didn't turn on my light. That's okay. I didn't put hardly any makeup on either. <laughs> uh, Poshmark, eight sales. The gross amount that I made was $165. The net amount after some of those shipping costs and or shipping discounts and then the 20 percent uh that poshmark takes but i netted out 123.96 123 dollars 96 cents now the shipping costs i i just wondered how much they cost the shipping that shipping fee the discount cost me eight dollars and four cents it would just be eight dollars more onto the net. So it doesn't seem so bad when you figure it out. It's only $8, which I'm sure helped sell those things. I think there was three things with the shipping discount. So giving the shipping discount probably pushed the sale on and they may not have bought it without it. So those are my numbers. Let me see now what people are saying. I should go way back here. Okay, check Poshmark newsfeed also to check 
for sure. Okay, the news feed. Yeah, I do. Th I do check that one too. I have a separate email for Poshmark only. Oh, oh, that would make it much easier. I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, young guys like to wear Como just because it's cool. Oh, what was that Como top? Is that a guy's thing? I don't remember then. That's how long my... That's how long my... Uh, Memory lasts. <clears throat> well, I can't find it. Must have been a men's thing. Uh, the cabbie wrap was from you. Okay, good. I had no idea where that was from. Maybe you should price more items like you want to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to. You know, when I go to list something, I sort of pay a lot of attention to what eBay's telling me to list it at. Now, they just want you to sell. They don't care how much you're, I'm making. They just want to push things to sell, sell, sell. Yeah. And if you go by, also, if you go and look on Terapeak you're, and go by the average, that's where I'm sort of getting the prices from. But they just seem to be lower than I used to do. But I'm selling more. So I don't know. Hi, Diane. <laughs> huh. Let's see. Maybe. Now there's eight in the chat. And the Somo top was from you. Okay. That was the one with the cutouts. Yeah, the Patagonia. I have one more piece, that vest. It's sort of strange. Uh, I've had no real interest in that vest either. You'll have to cross list some of my older items. To, that's what I've been doing. I've been putting the new things that I'm getting on, plus, I'm going back and doing. Uh, some of my eBay, I have a lot of eBay items that I never put on Poshmark. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, you mean taking them off of eBay altogether? Oh, I see what you mean. You think poetry is a boutique brand? Maybe. I, I'm not sure. Or what not flip? Yes. <laughs> you think I'm slowly but surely training your eBay store. I don't know. Am I training it to lower prices? I don't know. I was talking to my, I went to my daughters all day yesterday, all afternoon, or all morning till about two in the afternoon. And we got, we finally got her garage cleaned out and sorted everything else she had from this lady. <clears throat> Putting it in, in sections <coughs> marked to list, to go to Goodwill or to throw out. So, uh, I need to go there one more time, she says, because she had some more things downstairs and we didn't even go there. So, yeah, I was talking to her today about Poshmark and I was telling her about the, uh, when Becky Park was on Poshmark, this, I think it was her first time, she had a, a lot of things that she sold, but she's... She, uh, I forget how many things that she had on to sell, but she made over a thousand dollars, of which she netted, I think, seven hundred and forty-eight dollars or something like that in two or three hours. 
So I told Michelle that, and I told her I would love to do this to get rid of my older inventory, just to sell it out, you know, fast and less expensive, <laughs> fast and cheap, and uh, to get my clot to get my store down. And she suggested that maybe she could come over and help, but she need money to do this because she can't just take the day off. That's the problem with Michelle. Uh, she doesn't feel she can just do nothing and come over here. But I'm. Th then we talked about her bringing some of her things over and doing a show that would be half her things and half my things. It would all be on the same show, so we'd have to keep track. She would know what her things are. And just do one show. We would both be on it. Uh, I don't know if she'll do that or not. Uh, she hasn't done anything on YouTube. She's a perfectionist and uh, by herself. And... Uh, I don't know if she'll do if she'll do that or not. So we'll have to talk about more. She went to the barn and she said she's going to call me when she gets home and talk about it more. So I think I've sparked her interest a little bit anyway. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Let's see. No, don't take off unless you want to. Yeah, I, w I haven't been taking it off of, I've been keeping it on both platforms. There's always the problem of selling things on one. I did that once a week ago, had to cancel an order. And I had the strangest thing happen yesterday or the day before. I sold a pair of linen shorts. They were from quite a while ago. They were supposed to be in bin A2 over there. They weren't there. So I panicked and immediately went on to Poshmark. They weren't there either. They weren't, I hadn't sold them on Poshmark. I went back. eBay only lets you go back 90 days. So if I sold them on eBay, If I sold them on eBay and erased them from Poshmark, it had to be well over 90 days ago. But they're not here. So I emailed the... Uh, I emailed the buyer and I told her that I can't find them anywhere. And I had... Uh, I have 3,000 in items to go through. <laughs> I said, if you want, I can just cancel the order and refund your money right now. So she wrote back, and this is what I was trying to get her to say. She wrote back and she says, oh, that's okay. Just cancel the order. So, so when you go on there and cancel the order, you can say that the buyer asked you to cancel the order. So then that makes it not a bad thing for you. So thank God she did. She said that. So, yeah. Usually I've had other people say that too to me. So usually it's okay. Uh, but that's how to not get, um, you know, I don't want to get thrown off of eBay particularly. Uh, yeah, just saying, just saying now that Posh is picking up steam, take advantage of that. Oh, I am. I'm trying to do, I'm doing six things a day on eBay listing. I'm putting those six on and then I'm trying to do a few more out of my store from, from eBay, my older items that haven't been put on there. So maybe 10 things a day on Poshmark. So I'm sure that's what's helping me get more sales. But just like uh, eBay, Poshmark has, 
put a halt on the last couple days too. I haven't had any Poshmark sales. So it's up and down with any any platform, I think. <clears throat> oh, this is a long one. Let me put this up. I think you're training your eBay store in a good way as your zero dollar sales are way less than a year ago. That's true. I think you turned off your promoted listings a while ago now and now you're building. Well, I'm still doing promoted listings at two, two percent. That's the lowest you can do. You used to be able to do one percent, but they don't let you do that anymore. So 2% is the lowest they'll let you do. And uh, Michelle was doing 1.1, so she had to change all hers, too. I think the promoted listings helps. <clears throat> Stream on selling without best. Wait. Steam on selling without best offer. It just takes patience. Yes, I am. I'm definitely going to keep no best offers. It's just, I know it's, it's, it probably helps to have best offers on. There's people that want to barter all the time, but it's not worth the hassle to me. And it's not worth the irritation. It just is. I can't get over that. I can't get over, like Chris says, you could say, oh, thank you for the $2 offer. I'm, I so appreciate it. But let's get closer to my $50. How about $49.50? <laughs> That's what he says to say. I can't be that happy <laughs> about it. Uh, oh. Yeah, so we'll see what goes on with the uh, talk about about uh, whatnot. Bumblebee, you'll have to uh, clear out your phone so you can get the whatnot uh, app on there. I cleared out a whole bunch of my computer on my computer the other day when we were talking about that. Uh, because my computer was getting full and I have, it's all in my photos. I have five, I think I have, I forget how many photos I have. Not only do I have a lot of photos, like 20,000 photos, maybe it's down now, but uh, I have 5,000 emails. <laughs> yeah, I have to go back. The trouble with going but way back three, four years in your emails, some of those are pictures that people send you. And I have to carefully go through those and make sure that they're not pictures or little videos. I don't want to be racing anything like that. So, because it may be the only place I have it. But as far as getting rid of photos, I... When I list something, I have at least eight to 12 photos of that thing on my in my photos. So I never delete anything. So it adds up all that. It just adds up and adds up and adds up. So that's what I'm deleting, all those old listing photos of clothes. I don't need them at all anymore. If I, re, if I redo items that have been here for two or three years, I'll take new pictures anyway, so. Uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh. Oh, it was part of this one. And now you're building steam on selling without best offer. Okay, I, okay, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I finally got the the message from the other day. My sister, when she's talking about junky something, she did mean the bins. She thought it was interesting, but sort of junky, which, yeah, it is for sure. 
Uh, so that's it for today. I have, I got a blue box, which I had ordered two at a sale. If you ordered one, you get the other one half price. So I ordered two and I got one at half price. I ordered a denim box. They're not very big boxes from blue box. They're just little, uh, and an apparel, um, uh, women's apparel box. So I, they mixed them together because the box is bigger. So I have that box here. I'm just going to save that for when I don't have anything. So I have inventory now. I know I'm going to get a box from Bumblebee. And I have a thread up box coming too. So, yeah. You think a whatnot sale with Michelle would be great. I think it would be too. It would be fun. <laughs> and my daughter can be hysterical, I'll tell you. I mean, in a good way, funny. If she'd just forget about herself, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and you don't have to be care. The one thing about whatnot is you don't have to be careful at all about what you're saying. They allow anything. Yeah, you don't have to be careful. You can put any music on. You can put, say anything. You can, whatever. It's whatnot. Oh. And they're not saved. You know, you have to catch it live or you can't see it. I remember when, let, let me see this. I remember when you were paying the highest promoted listing fees and still unhappy. Right. I was up doing the highest plus. The highest. They're recommended plus two is what I was doing for quite a while, well over six, eight months. Yeah, and my sales weren't any better. So the sales I got, eBay made some money on that. I think the reason they made it at least 2% is everybody was doing 1%. That's why you, I, you think I'm doing good progress. I hope so. But this little business is all that keeps me going, let me tell you. I went to the barn, see my horse. My horse hardly knows me anymore. And once he sees that I forgot to bring the bag of carrots, I have a jittery eye here. Uh, you know, when you get that little... Muscle twitch. It's still going. I'm sure you can't see it. But anyway, I went to see my horse. I forgot carrots and apples. Once he saw that I didn't have a bag, he comes up to the fence, sees I don't have a bag, and just walks away from me. <laughs> Honestly. But my dog loves me. And my dog isn't food-oriented at all, so. I mean, I can hardly get him to eat in the morning. His breakfast could still be in his dish. He went with me to Michelle's yesterday. And, of course, she has cats, and he was all interested in that, but they were in, -house, in the house. We were out in the garage. But... There was one or two that she lets out, and he saw them, and he was, she, she was having a fit. But yeah, so she had a big outing yesterday. So I'm going to close for now. If I uh, get another box or go shopping, which may be, uh, I will be on in the middle of the week sometime. Usually it's, I can't tell you day, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. <laughs> but it's usually always around 4 o'clock I try to make it. So we'll see what we're going to do about whatnot. It's kind of scary. Not the being on. I That would be fine with me. 
it's getting the tech technology down so you're not you know messing up on the computer because you have to have two things running at one time so anyway i'll see you sometime in the middle of the week thanks you all for coming and uh everybody carry on good sales see you then bye